Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today is day 4 of our 30 days of JavaScript challenge and the question here is counter 2. This is an easy level question. So in this question we have been given a function which is called create counter okay and they have told that we should accept initial integer which is called init and we need to return an object which has three functions now let's see what these three functions are one is increment function the other one is decrement function and one is reset function so whenever increment function is called it should increase the value by one and the decrement value should decrease the value by one current value actually means if we have in it okay integer uh, initial integer as 10 okay now we are calling increment okay so it should return 11 and after that if we are calling decrement then it should reduce the value as a 1 from this 11 okay that is we need to return 11 minus 1 which is 10 will be returned now when let's see uh, consider that we are decrementing the value again okay so now in this 1 will be decremented and now we have 9 now what we have another function it is called reset okay so what we have to do in this the current value whatever it is it should be reset to the initial value which is 10 here okay here cons uh, considering the example we have 10 so we need to reset the value to 10 now let's go with an example like here in the example we have been given that the initial integer is 5 now we are calling the increment function okay which means that it will be incremented to 6 after that what they have told we need to reset the value to 5 so now it will be reset after that they are telling that we need to decrement the value now the init value got updated to 5 again so in that only we need to decrease 1 therefore 4 will be ret returned for this now we we saw in the previous counter question which was day 2 I guess and in that question what we did whenever we were incrementing the value it was in the post increment order right first first the for post increment what was happening first the value was getting returned and then increment was happening right but here what we have to do we need to increment the value and we need to return it right so what we will use here we will be using post increment uh, pre increment and decrement we will be using here pre increment and decrement so what will happen in pre increment and decrement first the value will be changed or updated okay so instead of increment and decrement I will be writing here first the value will get updated and then it will be returned so this will happen when we are using pre increment and decrement now for reset what we have to do we will have to store the initial value in some temporary variable so whenever we need to reset the value we can just assign the initial integer value to it so now let's uh, see the approach for this question the outer function is called create counter right they have told that we have create counter and inside that create counter In this we are passing init which is initial integer and we need to create three functions one is increment decrement and reset now for resetting the value um, I told that we need to assign it to a temporary variable so I will assign it here only now we have a copy of init in temporary variable after this what we will do we will create three functions one is for increment what we have to do we just need to return the incremented value right so we will just return plus plus in it 
in the same way in decrement we will return here minus minus in it and for resetting the value we will assign temporary to init and then we will return init again we need whatever changes we are making we need to make it initial integer only because what it should get updated every time so that whenever it is incremented or decremented the whatever changes are made will be reflected in init only this temporary variable is just for te uh, storing the initial value temporarily so that whenever we need to reset it we will just assign it value to the init value now we have the three functions and we were asked to return it in the form of an object right so we will return an object we will be using short shorthand here also so we will just write increment decrement and reset since the object value carries key and value and here both names are same therefore we will be returning just increment decrement and reset in the form of shorthand so this is the basic gist of this question let's move on to the code so whatever little doubts are there will be cleared with it so let's see the code now so here what we have we have create counter as a function right now in that function we need to uh, first declare a temporary variable which will be storing in it so we are declaring a temporary variable and we have been told that we need three functions right in these three functions we can either use function keyword to create the function or we can use arrow function also here i am using function keyword function for increment what we have to do we just need to return the pre incremented value so i will do plus in it return plus plus in it in the same way we need to do for decrement also and for resetting the value we just need to assign the temporary variable to init and now we need to return these functions in the form of an object so i will create the object increment decrement and reset let's try to run it now so the sample test cases are passed let's try to submit it so this code has been accepted that's it for today guys thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please let me know in this comments and if you want to join me in this journey you can subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you will be notified every time i post a new video thank you for watching